Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. A quiet start to the weekend may not finish up that way as we have a new storm system on the way. This next storm system over parts of the west coast will be heading our direction and tapping into more moisture coming in from off the Gulf of Mexico. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking at the possibility of some colder air heading our way as we get into next week as air from Siberia makes its way all the way across the Pacific, Canada, and into just north of the Mid-South area. So that's where we'll continue to see some cooler temperatures. We'll take a look at that in the seven-day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Again, plenty of sunshine today. Easterly winds. Temperatures back in the 40s, which is a little higher than what we saw over the last couple of days. And then into the 30s later on tonight for much of the metro. Could be a few upper 20s and well to our north, but into tonight, the winds will be changing out of the east down to the south, and that's going to take the temperatures up by just a little bit into the next couple of days. Bit on the frosty side this morning, no question about that, so your exclusive and exclusively tongue-in-cheek cough temp decks. Looking at the possibility of not much in the way of chilled icy drinks this morning, unless that's what you want to have. Again, also, again, if you're not paying attention, if you burn the roof of your mouth, you can't blame this because Again, this is just a tongue-in-cheek recommendation. Again, Torcon index type stuff. You know, we'll throw, the, throw that in for the coffee temperature out there as well. For the rest of the next few hours with frost on the camera windshield in Olive Branch, numbers will be rising into the mid-20s by the time we work our way into the mid to late hours. Temperatures will be peaking in the lower 40s by the time we work our way into the afternoon, and that's about as good as it gets for much of the Mid-South. Winds decently breezy at times, 5 to 10 miles per hour possible, but beyond that, just not seeing a lot of major concern across much of the area. Airport delays this morning, not seeing any problems out there. Sunny winds, fairly light at this time, and no delays being reported at Memphis International or throughout the continental United States according to the FAA. So, so far so good, but check back with the FAA or call your airport to see if there's anything else going on out there that you need to be concerned about. As of right now, no earthquakes to report in the last 24 hours. Very active in the West Pacific around the Solomon Islands. Some aftershocks to that large 7.8 earthquake a few days ago. And that, again, visible on the helicorders here in the Mid-South. You can see those from the United States Geological Survey Station at the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. If you'd like to see that, go to my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages. Clear blue skies, frost galore around the area of Power Center Academy for this morning, but at least nicely lit. Jonesboro, Arkansas, beautiful view of some sunlight out there making its way through much of the area. Look rock into Great Smoky Mountains National Park sunrise and a little bit of fog and steam and haze out there a little bit quieter conditions as opposed to the very hectic numbers into the last couple of weeks after those wildfires moved through parts of the area and a very nice view a little bit less colors on the trees over the last few weeks as the wind and the rain has stripped most of the foliage off there and this view again from purchase knob also in the great smoky mountains national park if you'd like to see more of our webcams go to wreg.com webcams if you'd like to see more from the national park system go to nps.gov the webcams will be on there find your park online and find out more about where you can go to get some fresh air, some history, and some natural experiences out there. Frosty on in Olive Branch this morning from former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam around City Hall from the Weather Underground System. Yesterday dry in the Mid-South, no precipitation whatsoever. We're ahead for the month by just about a half an inch, ahead for the year by about six inches or so. The almanac for temperatures, wow, very chilly out there. Our high was very close to our normal low, 36 degrees, 39 our high yesterday, 23 the low, and 53 is where our high temperature should be. 8 degrees above zero was the record low for today set in 1917 and a year later a record high of 75 was set you don't often see that happening within a calendar year advisories across the country not that much going on at this point where it comes to anything involving huge amounts of problems. So if you have any plans for outdoors or any travel out there, most of the problems are going into the north section of the country, into and around the northern plain states. We also have winter weather advisories taking place just north of us, into and around portions of the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes because of those storm systems that are going to be uh, rolling through pretty soon. Up into the Dakotas, even colder conditions up that direction, and we're looking at wind chill advisories over portions of 
of the Dakotas and the Northern Plains states. A lot more winter weather coming in out west where we have winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and some winter storm watches in effect for some portions of the areas up around the Bitterroots and portions of the Rockies. So definitely a lot going on into and around portions of the upper areas of the Rockies and the Midwest. And if you're traveling, that's what you need to be aware of if you're heading in those areas. Mid to late morning, temperatures back in the 20s, heading for the mid to upper 30s as we go into the next couple of hours afterwards. It's like our numbers are a little bit behind here for the numbers uh, for daytime planning purposes. So by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 5, numbers will be back into the lower 40s to upper 30s. Maximum temperature today in the mid 40s, possibly a few upper 40s out there. And by early tomorrow morning, we see again numbers dropping into the lower 30s before we get into around Sunday as the clouds start to move on through. And by the time we hit late during the evening, possibility of some showers and thunderstorms coming on through the area. Mid 40s today, increasing clouds into later on tonight but no rainfall expected rain begins by midday tomorrow showers maybe some thunderstorms mixed in with that and by early monday morning We'll be looking at an 80% coverage chance of rainfall. That could change to a 20% chance as we go toward the rest of the morning. And by afternoon, things look to be very much on the mild side. Lower 50s for Tuesday, but then our temperatures start to plummet once again thanks to a reinforcing shot of cold air from Siberia. That's going to be taking our numbers into the upper 30s by Thursday, lower 40s by Friday with a chance of showers. Now toward the rest of this next week, especially as we get into and around the area close to next weekend. The forecast models are changing and are not in good agreement at this time, so we're going to need to watch these numbers out across the area as we see these numbers over the course of the next few days from Saturday and Sunday change. A couple of the computer models are saying highs in the 30s. Some are saying temperatures in the 60s. This far out, that can change. That's normal, but what you have to do is keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised as to what we are in the not too far future. Weather where the troops are, taking a look around the Mideast and seeing again portions of Iraq into the 50s. Plenty of sunshine out there approaching sunset with a few clouds into parts of the central and western part of the country. Persian Gulf area, not that much going on, but comfortable temperatures in the upper 50s to the lower to mid 60s into Afghanistan. Temperatures much colder, usually up in the mountains, so Kabul and Faizabad back in the mid to upper 30s, mid to upper 40s around Kandahar and lower 40s around Herat, and back to the demilitarized zone and South Korea. Temperatures in the upper 20s to the mid to upper 30s with mostly clear skies. And again, we feature this during the holiday season a lot more to let you know what weather is like out across the area where you may have friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the United States. States military and anybody out there who's watching who is serving, thank you very much. Thank you to Andrea underscore Schultz letting the entire car defrost as we talked about. No periscope driving. Remember to wipe the entire windshield and windows clean so you can see. Periscope driving, just scraping a little hole in the ice is a very bad idea. And make sure that everything's cleaned off out there. And very well put by Memphis underscore Tom. Quick pick of pre sunrise because it's 21 degrees here in Cordova. Freaking burr. I love that. That's the way it's put. That's very apropos for this morning. We want to see your pictures on the air. All you have to do is tweet them to me, Aonic underscore WREG3, and we'll do our best to put them on air as soon as possible. Tune in for my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network throughout the rest of the weekend, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And whatever platform you have, search for our app, WREG Weather. Download it today and keep up to date with weather in the Mid-South. I'll have weather throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online will keep you up to date on both our next winter storm and the cold air that's expected to follow into next week. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything like that, please let me know. Email address up here in the white bar, blue letters, austin.onic at wreg.com. We'd love to know what you would like to see on here so we can feature them for you throughout the course of the next few weeks. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Early Saturday morning, stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, and I'll keep you up to date with what's going on with Mid-South weather. Thanks for joining me.